In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we dissected the peony buds and also prepared the thrips specimens for identification. So this part of the task grant, the goals were to collect thrips from peony buds, to determine which species of thrips were in those buds, and to develop identification tools like keys to make identification based on morphology uh, quicker and more accurate. Peony buds were collected from three major growing regions in Alaska, around Fairbanks, the Kenai Peninsula, and the Matsu Valley, and they were sent down to our lab in Washington State. For each peony bud, I carefully dissected them, pulling apart all of the leaves and the petals to find the thrips that were hiding inside. Information was recorded on the type of cultivar for the peony, which region it was grown in, and how many adults and larval thrips that I found inside. So now that we've collected our thrips from our peony samples, we need to try to identify them. So to do this, as you saw, they're very small, so we need a high-powered microscope, and we need to mount them on slides. The first step in this process is to put the thrips into a solution that will break down all of the soft tissues inside the body leaving just the hard exoskeleton with all the characters that we need to identify them. Now that our thrip specimens have cleared, which can take several days depending on the color of the thrips, we can move on to slide mounting. To do this, we need a glass microscope slide, a cover slip, and also a mounting medium, which keeps the thrips in place and preserves it over time. This whole process is gonna be done under a dissecting microscope where we can see the specimen more clearly and move around appendages like antennae, wings, and legs so that they're not covering up the body, uh, hiding important characters that we need for identification. Now that we have our thrip specimens mounted on microscope slides, we can take a look at them using this compound microscope, which gives us a much higher magnification so we can see all of those fine details on the body structure that we need to identify them to species. Let's take a look at a few characters that'll show us why thrips are such damaging pests on peonies. So I've got the compound microscope set to 200 times magnification. First, let's take a look at the thrip's head. This is where the feeding mouth parts are. Here you can see this mouth cone. This is where the piercing sucking mouth parts are on the front of the face. And this is where they're gonna be sticking these into the plant to feed on them, uh, piercing the plant tissue and causing their damage. Next, we'll take a look at the tip of the abdomen on the female specifically. This is where the egg laying device is called the ovipositor. So you can see here that there's actually two different saw-like blades that they use to cut into the plant tissue. So just like they're feeding mouth parts, this is another way that they're gonna be damaging the plant tissue and you'll be seeing these negative effects on your peonies. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at some of the research methods that we used for this project. As you've seen, identifying a thrips is a multi-step process that can take several days. However, under the research that we're doing in this Alaska task grant, we hope to streamline this process through development of keys specific to thrips from Alaskan peonies, and also developing a library of slide mounted thrips that we can use for comparison and identifications of species in the future. Thanks for watching.